hey, happy Sunday evening. Here we are on, it's officially our day 10 of the Raise, um, the 10 day Raise Your Vibe and Feminine Energies Challenge. But actually, because two weekends are in the way, it's like been 14 days. <laughs> Whoa, that's been a little bit of time, right? So how have you been doing on keeping that vibe in the upper, the upper levels? So hey, this is Teresa. It's Sunday evening. It's um, the last day. Teresa Sahi, Feminine Genius Life Coach. And here we are in the Wild Awakened Women Facebook group. So hello. So if you haven't been part of the channels, but you happen to be watching this video or one of the others, then you can definitely, um, I guess you can still register and get you, t you can get you the link to the videos. <coughs> but anyway, so hey, hey, so happy to see whoever is here. Hi, girl. So here we are. Wow. So how did it go for you? So, you know, we started off like just really getting clear on what that, maybe what that dream, that life goal, that big juicy thing you want to manifest so that you can be a vibrational match to that right so you can be feeling good every day because it's in that upper level of our feeling and energy that we're putting out is what attracts more of the good stuff to us and if it's on our dreams and goals and the juicy list then it's obviously going to be very good right so yeah and then we just did some lots of conversations but then there's the daily morning you know that morning ritual to set your state 10 minutes you can go through you know gratitude and journaling and and um, visualization and um, sending love and that kind of stuff, right? And then there's the day that we talked even about um, don't make them wrong. So that could be kind of a tough day. That was kind of a tough thing maybe in some ways to, you know, don't make them wrong because sometimes it's hard to get that because especially, I mean, here's the deal for me. I think when... Well, I know when, <laughs> when there's other people involved <laughs> in our world, in our life, in our energy, in our daily activities, in our home, in our workspace, we don't feel like we always have control of what's going on, right? Because, you know, it depends what they're saying to us or what they're, what's happening around us or what experience we might be having at work or, you know, if we're in a say you're married uh, and your spouse and what kind of energy they come home and there's all of these things the kids or um you know the peers at work you know all of that so here we are working on our vibe and life happens all around us and there's people everywhere <laughs> and so sometimes when I, you know it feels like well i don't really have a choice or they're they're acting this way or this is happening and there's drama at work and everything's on fire and you know or hubby's pissed off and and then pretty soon i'm pissed off and you know it, it kind of tanks right um so so yeah so when i talked about don't make them wrong it wasn't necessarily just about that it was just about anything in our life that's happened um in the past or or yes happening now but when our thoughts like like in our alone time even and we're replaying that stuff and we're just like it's bringing us down and we're just kind of having this drama inside of ourselves and we're mad at them and we're, they would have done this that's the energy that i was saying don't make them wrong because then we stay in that negative energy and a blame energy which is a low vibration um energy you know and i gave lots of scenarios in an email i sent but separately a little bit there's just the daily you know there's also the daily stuff and i find that that can be you know really where our work is because we're going to always be in the world with people and we certainly do want to be and we don't always have control of who's around us but we do have control of ourselves and sometimes that kind of we get our buttons get pushed and we lose that control and you know we, we feel a certain way for a minute and we feel hurt or we feel like dang they really they really did mess up right or dang they really did hurt my feelings or 
dang, I really kind of like went off and blew it and like got triggered, right? So to me, this is the work. This is the work. It's not like we have to just have a radar on ourselves and we can't have people in our life because, you know, we can kind of get to our own high vibe by ourselves and, you know, feel pretty good. But we want to be able to, you know, experience relationships and, you know, and have clients and customers and friends and, you know, all of these great things that involve other people and, you know, be of service in the world, right? So it's really to be easy on yourself, for sure. And it's really like we, like you have been experiencing, and I certainly have experienced, but it's really just monitoring ourselves to be our best self and maybe learning to pause learning to be slower in our reactions, but also just look at the people and we're attracting the people into our life. You know, it's not like where you can intentionally say, oh, I want this specific person to be my life partner. Can't always do it quite that way, but the energy of people we're attracting to our life. And so I just learned that a couple things that you could take away and try. Well, first of all, you can learn from every single person, and we're, like I said, we're attracting them. So if there's something that's going on that doesn't feel good, <clears throat> excuse me, doesn't feel good with them, just say, you know, are they mirroring something that I need to work on, right? And, and then if it's somebody that you need to be around a lot, say at like work, the next time, the next day, you can just go with, <clears throat> maybe they're having a really hard time. Maybe they don't know all this stuff I know. And so I'm just going to just give them a little bit of grace, right? We talked about grace. And just try to see them from a different point of view. Try to not let them get under, you know, get me all, like, wired up here. And just try to see them from a different point of view. And send them some loving energy. And then that to me, that's the one. And that's the one I wanted to say next was, especially if it's like somebody that you're really, you know, it's really close to you, like whether it's a mate or a really close friend or a family member. And they just, you know, sometimes seem really hard to deal with or seem they don't understand or not listening to you. And that kind of bothers you and it's that. Just like what they're talking and even if what they're saying is bothering you and it's not like what you really like or just open up your heart in that moment and just send them love and just, you know, they just need this right now. Maybe they don't know how stressful their energy is. Maybe they don't know. Maybe they just need love. And I kind of don't know how to give it right now because it's kind of like I'm kind of mad or I'm kind of feeling weird, but... Because if you can just give love in those kind of moments, wow, that's huge, right? That's really huge. Even if you're feeling hurt, you're, it's huge. So think about that. Okay, so anyway, you went through lots of days of this challenge. And high five to you because I know it's been up and down and all around and you had life going on. So thank you for taking time in your lap to be here. And I know many of you have watched the replays and that kind of thing. Couldn't always be in the lives. That's cool and groovy. But um, just really celebrate yourself that you, it's a commitment. Personal growth is definitely a commitment. Absolutely. And so I know throughout the couple of weeks, the total 14 days, had a lot of stuff going on. I had some really busy stuff going on and I felt like, Oh, this is like challenging me a little bit, but I am very conscious of myself. Not that I don't get out of my good vibe. I, I do, but I, I am usually able to bring it back. And so that's what I say. It's really just a commitment. It's not that we can ever like fluctuate because we are going to fluctuate. That's normal. Okay. So just know that's normal. Absolutely. Really the work is being conscious of yourself. And knowing how to lift and shift at the right times, right? That kind of thing. And knowing and, and feeling like you're not spinning out of control for hours on end, days on end, right? That kind of thing. So anyway, congratulations on that. So it brings us back. It brings us here to this final day. And what I 
thought would be kind of cool to bring it back to is back to the day one. So what is it now that you are going to do um, to move your dreams and goals forward? What is it that maybe you've got clarity on because you, you, you realize it takes, um, takes a high vibrational woman to get to that other side of that, to get across that rainbow, right, into the pot of gold. So what is it you're going to do? So have you been able to um, clarify your next steps? Have you been able to visualize living in that experience? Have you been able to squash any of the doubts? I mean, that's really what it comes down to a lot of the time, right? Well, it comes down to a few things, but um, but when we don't have the confidence to take the steps, that's the doubt, right? And we don't feel clear about the next step. So, like, maybe we know what we want, but we just feel stuck in the muck a little bit. Like, what is next? What? Do I just sit here and, like, you know, do my meditation and it all just comes to me? There's truly action involved, too. Yeah, there's definitely action involved. So my gift to you, this is what I wanted to share with you. So my gift to you is to offer you, if you feel stuck, if you feel like stuck, what do I do next? Or I don't, I feel like I know, but I'm afraid to take the step. I don't feel like I, I know how. I don't feel like um, I'm qualified. I don't feel like it's really going to happen. I don't really have the belief. Um, I know so many times, like before I became a coach, I had to hire coaches, right? I had to hire a coach. And, and even in that itself is a journey. Like what, what does it mean to hire a coach? Um, and I've had different clients and I've been in group coaching programs and they've all been different and I've learned from all of them. And pretty much, I think there's something that I've taken away that I probably still use today. It's kind of that stacking. Remember we talked about that stacking like early in the first days. We're just stacking our knowledge and stacking our experience one thing on top of the other. It's not that we just do a little bit of work, go through a raise your eye challenge and everything just like manifests and it's perfect right here. You've been on a journey with yourself and your life and your dreams and goals and doing a lot of amazing things way before today. And you've been stacking your experiences and stacking your knowledge. And sometimes if we get kind of stuck, we're also, we could be stacking that stuckness. And then we just can't seem to find our way out. It becomes overwhelming. And then we think, okay, I have to do these things. And we, then we start doing too much. And then it becomes exhaustion. And then we're back at square one. So the coaching process is really, it you know, there's a coaching um, description that is a coach will help guide you and help you gain clarity, but will never tell you what to do, and you only do what you guys agree on. Absolutely. Absolutely, that's cool. But then there's also this other side. So I kind of take the middle road. There's this other side that I believe that sometimes it's really helpful for the coach to tell you what to do. Sometimes you... You just can't seem to figure it out, and it's just, you're spinning, and that's why you need help. Um, so I take the approach as like um, consultant and coach. Consultant is, this is what you need to do, and coaches try to help you so that you can build the foundation, so you can start getting your own clarity, and you can start trusting yourself, but it doesn't always happen at first. So I kind of do a little bit of both. So... That's kind of what it's like to work with me. So what I want to offer you for free, and I always offer free consultation, absolutely. Consultation is, hello, how are you? What's going on? This is what I do. What is it that you need? Yes, I think I can help you. No, I think maybe you need to go blah, 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 you know, or things like that, just to kind of talk and like get to know you. But a free coaching session is you come to me with a challenge and I would suggest that you come to me with a challenge that's in the realm of your dreams, because why not? That's why not. And you come to me on two different occasions, and you, you know, have specific question. And we're going to laser coach that, and you're going to go away with an action. 
that's going to go along that line. And we're going to do that twice. And that's all free. That's all free. And then if you choose to work for me, then you work with me, not for me. If you choose to work with me, then I'll offer you a coaching program that's 50% off of what I offered two years ago. I changed my prices and I've lowered them a couple times because I just really like doing this kind of work. I really like personally being supported. I really like personally being heard. And I know that so many women are not. And I feel like I've been on a journey for a while to be able to express myself, to be able to be understood, to be able to get unstuck, that I've went through a lot and I've learned so much. And I want to really share that. And so even though I have a wonderful, um, I, I told you, juicing business, that came after my coaching. That's kind of like an add-on because, you know, it's mind, body, spirit. We need to be healthy mind, body, spirit, right? And so that's like an add-on to my passion. My passion is to help women like you, people, that, women in this group, women that set up this challenge. You know, one of my clients in the past, Christine, this is interesting. One of my clients in the past, Christine, came to me because her... Um, psychiatrist, psychologist, psychologist um, referred her to me. This is like a few years ago. Her psychologist was in a coaching group um, I, I was doing at that time, a while back. And so then she's like, oh, Christine, I, this is, I think this will be good for you. So I worked with Christine and it, her, she was about launching a business, a new entrepreneur. Not, I wouldn't work with a, a million dollar entrepreneur that, you know, like needs to take it like worldwide. That's not my thing. It's like new women like wanting to express their passions and their gifts into the world. Yeah. And so hers is working animals and, and dogs specifically. But interesting enough, that was cool. So interesting enough, the psychologist, her name was also Christine, um, a couple years later, she came to me. She was moving her, she was working, um, in a program with other psychologists format. And then she was moving her to Colorado and she wanted to open her own practice. And so she wanted to like just have some mentoring, coaching and confidence and like, you know, some ideas to kind of like reach women. She was working with women. So it was really kind of cool. So that was kind of fun. And then I've had many, many of my clients work with me on relationships, getting in and getting out. I even worked with um, a woman that was really in a desktop situation with her spouse and then eventually not wanting to leave, wanting to just figure it out. And then, then her spouse, her husband actually worked with me. That was fun. I worked with many women on just building their own confidence, building like, I don't know what my purpose is. Lots of, lots of different things. So it's really getting in touch with your feminine energy it's really understanding yourself. It's not doing it all out in the world alone. It's not living in overwhelming drama and feeling unheard and unseen, invisible. So that's my gift to you. Two private laser coaching sessions working on your dream, your goal, that thing that we talked about at the beginning with specific questions and we'll work through two times. It's laser coaching, which means we're just got one question, get an answer, get you moving and grooving to where you feel like, oh, that's what I was trying to figure out. I feel a little bit unstuck on that. Now I know what to do. You know, so you are moving, not spinning your wheels, not that one foot on the gas and one foot on the brake. And then also I am, uh, let's see what I call it. I am creating um, classes on demand classes, I guess that's the right word, and a membership. It's so it, here's the deal. It's these are these are practices, rituals that you would do on your own. These are personal self development um, I don't know, like like if you're like you like you need to do your meditation or like that, you know, your journaling where you're doing some personal stuff on your own. But these will be included um, in, a, in like a, a format where I'm 
showing you some specific rituals, some specific meditations, some specific um, processes to purify the body of toxic energy, some specific activities of moving the body to release toxic energy and heal um, healing from some trauma, some specific rituals that will connect with divine spirit to get um, maybe call in um, a favorite goddess from the past that you feel drawn to, um, spirit energy, your own personal guidance to open up the chakras more, to how to use essential oils, to the, um, 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 I'm forgetting what I want to say, like the stones, like the crystals, how to use those, some very specific rituals. So these are, if you came to any of the, um, the sisterhood um, circles that we did a while back, and I'll do more in the future too, but um, it's that kind of thing that we did in circle, which is very powerful, absolutely. The energy of everybody together, working as one, changing the world, sending out the feminine energy. But these are practices that you can do on your own, personal, that are feel more private to you. So I'm, I'm creating a series of classes, and so I'm offering them on demand in a membership site. And I'm going to do probably a couple of months, um, the first one in a couple of weeks. And so they're, they're, the membership site that you would get those classes is only going to be, for you, $10 a month. Wow. Right, super deal. And I'm going to give you, because I'm going to have them on demand. So they're going to be like, keep growing, and I'm hoping that you'll stay around for a while. We'll draw in, you know, all kinds of women from around the world that want to see that. So we're not sitting here in a Facebook Live where I'm trying to connect people in a Facebook Live where who knows if they even see it <laughs> half the time. So you can watch it when you want to watch it, not miss it because it's on a live, and you can watch it as many times as you want. But here's the deal, here's the even extra special part of that. The first month is free. So I'm doing, so I'm setting the, the first series up for, to the end, of the end of the year. So for the next six months. So that's basically $60, but you would only pay $50 because you're getting the first month free. So if that's something of interest to you, hallelujah, I'm going to um, work on that for you. And so just let me know if you're interested. I'll be sending out an email too. Um, oh, so I, did I tell you? I think I wrote down, I have a little notepad here. I was kind of working on some of the, like what, what are some of the classes of those? Of honoring your intentions, your sacred self and commitment, um, the alchemy of a woman, your, um, yeah, your, your, your gold of the earth, basically, self-discovery, um, self-harmony, heart whispers, um, the finest version of you is in your heart. So really connecting to that and be able to listen and hear your heart messages. Um, that was, I think I had some more here. Just give me a second here. I'm turning the page. I'm holding this with one hand. Um, grounding through grief. So that is really grief as in, not necessarily as in like you lost a loved one. It could definitely be that. But as in grief as in letting go of something, letting go of a part of yourself that's been holding you back. Um, and with change, like you've been this way for so long and you felt like, like you're growing and, and you don't want to lose part of yourself. That's how to handle that. Not feeling like you've made mistakes, but feeling like it was a process to go forward. Things like that. Grief. Sometimes we feel like, or oh, we've made a mistake and we feel bad, and or we don't know how to go forward, or we feel like we made, you know, hurt somebody else in the past. That kind of stuff. Um, the leaves of change. So some of these will come along in the fall, and so I'm using that kind of verbiage too. Um, transformation from what you want and how to grow into that huge transformation and we'll have like several elements that we'll work on in that class and I wrote down one other one what is it oh building a new timeline so that's kind of like um that your future self how to how to maybe um jump into that future self sooner than you think things like that 
um, yeah, so those sound pretty cool, huh? So those will be like on-demand classes. It'll just be me. It won't be, and then you'll be able to watch when you want to watch. So, okay. So that's kind of cool. So that'd be part of the membership. Those are basically I'm giving you rituals to do on your own to do your manifestation. So when I first started doing those rituals, you know, um, I kind of did them and I didn't really know what I was doing. It was fun and it feels good. It feels good to be doing something, right? But I didn't feel like it was the holy grail. I mean, I feel like it's the holy grail. It becomes more and more the holy grail the more and more we work on ourselves because they, we tap into ourselves a little bit deeper. We have more understanding. We, we've opened up some different perceptions. We've opened up parts of ourselves. So it just, it, it just, that stacking, it just gets better and better. So perhaps if you want to take me up on all that, then you're, it's the invitation. So I'm going to, I think in the link that you got today, look at that email and there is a link under my name that says two free coaching sessions and you can just sign up right there. It's no obligation. Of course, you can always work with me if we want to. Absolutely no obligation. Um, take advantage of it because this is what I do. And this is what I love to do. And this is my gift to you. Mm. It's what I'm always going to do. I, I have a pretty full calendar of clients. A couple of them are about to end their series with me and go out and do their cool groovy stuff in the world. And so I um, opened up some time to just offer something to you. I've had a great time with the, the Raise Your Vibe Challenge. I've learned a lot about myself. I think it's always great to be in unison with others. Even if we're not sitting in the same room, we feel like a commitment. And so, yeah, I love that. So congratulations on you. I would love to hear your feedback. Send it to me privately if you want. If you don't want to post it in the group, um, tag a friend, send her in. She can sign up and she can get the links. I can send her the emails. I'm all about that. I'm all about growing forward, changing the world, and um, you know, hanging out with sisters that want to do the same, that want to rise above the low vibrational energy that is trying to be dominant in our world right now. But because of people like you and I, we're going to, you know, not let that happen, right? Especially in our own lives. And then the energy that we carry is the energy that we're exuding and how we impact others. So blessings to you, my dear. Um, yeah, there'll be more soon. But those are the two offers I have for you. And they're really good. So take advantage of it. Thank you for being here. Love you. Good evening. Bye-bye.